So this is a video that's gonna walk you through the last example that I had in my presentation for today that I somehow skipped. Uh, I wanted to make sure that I had an example where you actually set up a little bit more complex table because I, there might be a couple in the homework problems that are a little bit more involved like this one. So this is looking at how would you set up the table if you were looking at the statement not if not P, then not Q, which would be the inverse of if P, then Q. So what you always want to do is you're going to need a column always for P and for Q. And then if you have also the negation, like we do in this case, we have the negation of P and we have the negation of Q involved, then you need to make columns for those also. And in this case, those are the four things that are involved. So I'm going to have a column for each one of those. And I'm going to start out like we did in class, where the first thing we're going to do is simply fill in our P column, which would go true, true, false, false. And by the way, I know that I'll only have four rows because there are P and Q, and it's binary, so that's going to be two to the second, and so that's going to give me four possibilities. And then for Q, I'm just going to start true also, and then I'm going to alternate false, true, false. For not P, I'm literally going to do the opposite of what is in the P column. So I'm going to go false, false, true, true. Remember, if P is true, then not P has to be false. And I'm going to do the exact same thing for not Q. So the opposite or the negation of Q would go false, True, false, true. Now I'm ready to fill in my last column, which is the statement, if not P, then not Q. So this is an if-then statement. So it can only be false when the premise P is true and the conclusion Q is false. So let's take a look at that. And remember, we're looking at this third and fourth columns. We're looking at not P and not Q. The first not P is false, so that means this is automatically true. Remember, the premise has to be true for this to come out false. And the second one, the premise is also false, so this is automatically true. Now the next one, the premise not P is true, and the um, conclusion is false, the not Q is false, so this will be false because we're saying that if not P is true, then not Q must also be true. And in the third row, that is not the case. Now the last one is true, true, so we're good to go. That's going to be true. So that's how you would set up the truth table for the uh, inverse of if P then Q, which is not, if not P then not Q. If you have any questions, let me know. If you need help with any of the questions on the homework, email me, please. Have a good day.